Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you again. Shame the devil. LSU's black woman's assistant athletic director, Sharon Lewis, details years of abuse after she outed coach Les Miles in the harassment. Okay? It will come as absolutely no surprise that college football is filled with nefarious characters who are down to commit any level of atrocity, violation, or other untold behavior in the same in the same name of the school mascot or athlete program. No deed is too dirty when it comes to winning and more importantly, the money and power that winning brings. Grown men will forego all morality, legality, and human uh, decency if it means that they can be celebrated for playing what is ultimately a childish game. University president, athletic directors, boosters, donors, agents, players, and head coaches have all fallen for these uh for these things in the name of glory what the ish hits the fan about their bad behavior there is scandal going on outside no man is safe from word to prodigy okay in recent in a recent piece by usa today sharon lewis lsu's associate athletic director of football recruiting details how she was on the receiving end of unscrupulous behavior by the aforementioned men after she drew a line in the sand against the man whose whom's boost those men's those whose boots those men lick lewis called out the most powerful man in college sports lsu head coach coach leds miles for a harassment of female students that harassment included the accusation of kissing a student employee at his condo and vowing to help her with her career les miles is 68 years old as a result of her mistreatment lewis has failed filed lawsuit on multiple levels against the university including a federal title lawsuit a state whistleblower lawsuit and equal employment opportunity grievance and a civil lawsuit under the federal rico statute federal rico rico statute wow okay that's how bad things got down in the bayou Two of the university's employees named in the suit are Executive Deputy Athletic Director uh, Vergus Asbury and Senior Associate Athletic Director M.S. Both were suspended without pay for 30 days, for 30 and 21 days, respectively, as a result of their failure in leadership, a slap on the wrist, most definitely a slap on the wrist. Oh, just in case it wasn't uh, clear, Sharon Lewis is a black woman football recruiting director in the Southeast Conference. After routinely being denied raises and promotions, enduring uh, mentally deploring ridicule from her colleagues, she has understandable, uh, understandable breakdown. She had an understandable breakdown. Okay, and this is one of the statements that was made. The claims laid forth in the lawsuit are co-witnessed by numerous former employees in addition to the complaints she filed with the university human resources. Sadly, we will be we would be a we would be any amount of money you'll like Sharon Lewis isn't the Sharon Lewis in college athletics and we all need to help bring attention to these women who are being done dirty largely by white men and their white woman accomplices okay so that's basically what's going on now Sharon Lewis um, 
she worked in college football and she was subject subjected to some things which I'm pretty sure went over the years of uh, and years and years of things that she had to endure um, sadly enough this is not an uncommon thing you hear about this all the time um, young women and young men um, you have the hazing and then you have you know things of that nature so it's a lot um, I would like anyone that has been in college or currently is in college to come and I would like to have dialogue with you as well um, to better understand the culture of what goes on in college especially if you were in the athletic department or were close to someone that was in the athletic department um, it's just crazy how you know now things are coming out when so many things were swept underneath of the rug every college experiences this um, regardless if it's made public or not trust and believe there's always a trail of you know people doing what they basically want to do you know um, as far as the gentleman in question um, I just think that it's really sad that he would use his power and his prestige and his um, you know knowledge of football and how it works and you know how the programs work to even offer a person you know to help their career and turn for something so meaningless as um, advances in a more personal nature I will say that um, Lee's Miles man you're 60 67 years old man that's crazy to me and man with that being said you guys drop down in the comments let me know how you feel about this let me know what your stance is on this story and we will most definitely get back and have some dialogue about this it seems like this is the year of uh, exposing lifting the veil uh, all the little dirty secrets and things that people think they got away with is no longer safe for no man. Until then, you guys. Talk to you later.